my name is serenity and welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here um i do reactions to k-pop videos i've been reacting to um a2k and Neezy season one and season two and some stray kid stuff since you know like they're my bias but that being said why don't we get started with today's episode of a2k Okay, next. Let's see. What? <laughs> Also, a ballet man, a Miss the Legion of Arts, right? So here you were trained as a ballerina. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I love ballet. Right? <laughs> I love ballet too. Yeah. My favorite female <laughs> teacher is Giselle. Really yes. Especially the dance in the middle where you circle yeah. the legs. You know what yep. I'm talking about? Yeah. So I remember back from regionals, and I said, "Oh, I have to." So I thought that that was something memorable that I I definitely had to bring back in the star quality performance. So I mean, it's a treat for me. Ooh. So you showed us your hip hop swag at the dance evaluation, and now you're going all the way opposite. Classic ballet. You're very excited. Please show us what you have. I was just really nervous because of my lack of ability and skill from what I've lost within the six months that I quit. But um, in that moment, I also had to tell myself that I had been practicing really hard for this and that all I need to do is loosen up and show who I am.
<laughs> so not only did she show off her ballet skills, she did JYP's favorite ballet part and then added in her own like K-pop slash ballerina like part too. I'm curious to see what he says. Like, I don't feel like he would ever say anything, like, bad about that. You know what I mean? But I love the sound effects when it's like, oh, where'd she go? Where'd she go? What's happening? Everyone's curious. Lexi, you are an amazing dancer. Amazing dancer. Thank you. I mean, why did you have to pick Giselle? Did I tell you that's my favorite number? Oh, that's why you picked it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite female ballet piece, and thank you for remembering it and choosing that to perform. Thank you for gracing this boot camp. You just graced it. When you did the pop performance, I don't know if you, how you can do it any better. You have great understandings of how each movement should feel like. Your feelings wow. change with the movement dramatically. That's why you're a great dancer. Thank you so much. Amazing, please come here. Yay. Wow, Giselle. Okay. Thank you. I can't believe she remember what my favorite piece was. I... Wow. He seems very I'm blown away by that. that. I am capable of being able to do that and show different sides of me um, through just dance in general with different styles. Um, I was really happy with my results that I got the stone today. All right, next is Gina. I've been curious what hers is. So you look like reporter or caster today. Yeah. Could you tell us what you're trying to do? Um, I'm trying to do something like a reporter, like a news reporter. So basically, I've lived in many different countries, so I wanted to talk about that in my star quality. Her languages. and welcome to HK News. Today we have stories from Paris, New York, and Seoul about a girl named Gina. Now, I'll connect to HK News, Paris. Voici une photo de bébé de Gina. Alors que leur famille déménage dans différents pays, pour eux, ce n'était pas facile de garder une longue amitié. À la place, ils sont devenus les meilleurs amis. Gina dit qu'elle n'a pas peur de rien puisque son frère est là pour elle. Wow, what a heartwarming story. Thanks, Paris. Now, let's go to New York. In the photo, you see Gina at Ariana Grande's Sweet Inner World Tour in New York 2019. After this concert, Gina started dreaming of becoming an idol herself, therefore started making her own songs and videos. Wow. I hope she makes her dream come true one day. We'll be back after a short commercial break. <laughs> now, let's connect to our reporter in Seoul. Oh, 
개성 넘치는 만 13세 소녀 진아의 이야기입니다. 저는 지금 서울에 있는 저월피 빌딩 앞에 와 있습니다. 바로 이곳이 진아 양이 매일 보컬과 댄스 트레이닝을 받으며 지내는 곳입니다. 지금은 아이돌의 꿈을 가지고 ATK 오디션에 참가하고 있다는데요. 다음에는 그대미 시상식 레드카펫을 걷는 진아 양을 만날 수 있기를 기대해봅니다. ATK 뉴스 서울입니다. Thank you for staying with HK News. We'll see you tomorrow. That is so cute. Okay. You know, I was. I don't know. I, I guess I wasn't expecting like anything like that, but I figured it had something to do with acting since she, like, just from you know bits and pieces of la we saw last episode. But like, I don't know. I I enjoyed it. Um. I think it was unique, um, and she literally showed that she is fluent in all three of these languages, which is super valuable, especially when you're looking for an international, like, pop star, you know what I mean? Like, that's great for them to be able to speak multiple languages. Um, what were your guys' thoughts on it? To me, this is my first time seeing, like, star quality. So, like, I don't know what people even, like, do or what they have done in the past. Um, so, like, I think it's really cool. I feel the fact that it was unique um, should hopefully stand out in this evaluation. So surprised. I think it was very creative, too, what she did. And it was really entertaining. Gina's performance was really cute. I just thought it was really, really cute. Uh, uh. So three languages were given. Yeah. So as you know, K-pop just went global, right? Like, look at you. You got you guys are auditioning to become artists in a K-pop company, right? It's truly unbelievable how global K-pop has become. So. Having a member that can speak another language is such a pivotal advantage. And you being able to deliver it that clearly, whatever you were trying to deliver, that, that's going to help the team a lot. So I can't deny the stone from you. Please come here. Are you gonna interview me? Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh Kaylee? It was pretty obvious what she's gonna do for us. Come out, tech one girl. Tech one. What's she gonna do with the water cups? She's not gonna pour it on her, right? Like. <laughs> I'm doing a combination of taekwondo and dance, which is called Ammu in Korean. So I call it taekwondo. So you're a red belt? Yes. So what made you learn taekwondo? It's just a typical Korean thing. I started because I wasn't very active as a little kid, so I think it was a way for me to get more active and it helped with my balance, my strength, and my speed. Okay, you showed us your cute, sweet, bubbly side yes. with your performances in K-pop. Kaylee, I was like, she looks really young, but so cute. Like a lot of um, aegyo. But now, it's a total different side of you, right? I want to show a different side of me because I know that yesterday I was like crying and it was like a very weak side. I wanted to go up and hug her, but like we didn't know if we were able to. I was gonna cry because I, I, that's, that's our baby. That's our baby. Um, so I want to show like a <laughs> strong side.
I have a little. So this is um, it's Warheads. This is the most sour candy in America that I know of. So another thing that I love to do is eat sour things. And this is one of my friend's favorite candies to eat. Anybody know of that candy? Yeah. 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 You guys can eat it too? Mm-mm. <laughs> no. It's so sour. It's so sour. <laughs> my favorite is black cherry. Yeah. <laughs> Would you want to try? Would you want to try? No. Yeah, challenge, see if you, you can do as good as her. So you can compare the salad. Yes. See the difference. <laughs> Is he going to do it? I definitely recommend one. Okay, if it's too sour, can I spit it out? Okay. Just so, so, just so I can understand what level. There's different flavors. No one's lemon. Le lemon. <laughs> That's the worst. This is the worst. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hold on. This is kind of cute. Mm -hmm. So if that little girl's fine, I should be okay, right? <laughs> if that little girl's fine, I should be okay. I get it, okay. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> and I realize if I select you as the final member, we don't need bodyguards, right? Nope. You got it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a lot of save of expense, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you can teach all the rest of the girls how to protect themselves. Definitely, and Kendall knows how to do it too. Kendall knows how to yeah. do it too. If you can do Kendall. I, I took Taekwondo. But Me too. As well. You too? Yeah. Oh, we are strong <laughs> team. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, I think you were born to be a K-pop star. You were born to be a K-pop star. Aww. Everything that K-pop requires, you have. You have that cute side to it. You have the speed and you don't, you know, when to bring out what side. And you have so many different things inside you. And that's what K-pop requires. I think, I think you were just born to do this. And, and on top of that, you are so driven and focused. I can feel it. Thank you. And that was a great performance showing the different sides you have. Please come here. He also said that I would I was born to be a K-pop star, so I was very happy about that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he laughs and he's like And thanks to her I got some antioxidant in me. <laughs> Next, Melissa. What is Melissa gonna do? Does she sing and perform? Okay, uh, looking at your wardrobe, I can't imagine what you're trying to do for us today. <laughs> so what is it? Today, I'll be singing my original song that I wrote actually when I was 13 about my dad. Tell me oh, a little no. bit about this song. My dad was in my life, but he was, he was like in and out. So he'd only visit on weekends, and um, I didn't really think that we had like a very strong bond. Like we didn't really have a strong bond. Um, just letting that toxic relationship go and really trying to move on for, from that situation to be happy with myself. There is some specific lyrics that are pretty important in the story. You chose to leave a secret a secret, um, which meant uh, that 
when I was little, he kind of kept me a secret from my my family, like his side of the family, and that really hurt me because I didn't get to know my family from the other side. So that that's why I wrote the lyric, you chose to leave a secret a secret, because I was the secret. So when you wrote this wow. song, did this help you emotionally? 100%. Yeah, um, it helped me grow as a person because I was holding it inside for so long that releasing it through music was, I couldn't even describe it. It really, it really helped me, really helped me grow. I think I just learned to accept the situation. Mm -hmm. and Instead of just blindly hoping it'll change. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. So four years ago, when you were 13, yeah. you wrote this song. Okay, please sing for us. all look like they're about to cry i'm about to cry that to think that she wrote that and had such strong feelings at 13 it makes me feel for her like i feel so bad that she had to to go through that pain the pain to feel that um emotion to be able to write the that song that was a beautiful song i cannot wait to see what jp says about it
wow, it was so amazing, but at the same time, I, I felt so uncomfortable because I, you know. I was imagining my, my girl singing this. She had to go through so many things that she will sing this. You standing here, stout and tall, singing about your pain. Exactly what artists do. Wow, that's, that's amazing. It's... That was a powerful performance and I was thinking, is there any artist in K-pop who can write this type of song and perform with that type of emotion. I couldn't think of anyone. It's like the best of what art can be. That's a big compliment. I loved it, thank you. Please come here. So proud of you. Thank you. Great job, Melissa. Thank you. Wow. I, I even forgot to mention how good her vocals were. <laughs> you know? um, I think Melissa was the most memorable contestant today. It was very original, very touching. Like her singing was amazing. About what you're feeling. It just, it puts you on a different level. So I, I love the performance. I, I have to tell this to the viewers because they might say, what's the point of doing this when you're gonna give out stones to every single member who did this today? Well-planned, effective performance to make yourself more like a star and still you all deserve to get it. I mean, give yourselves a round of applause. We're gonna do an evaluation meeting and pick the top five performance of the day. So give me one second, all right? The top five? Okay. Well, I can tell you right now that <laughs> Melissa and... I'm so proud of you. Like, I can't pick one. I liked every single one. Melissa and... Why am I drawing a blank right now? Kendall. Melissa and Kendall are going to for sure be on that top five. Man, the mood changed so quick. The criteria was, which performance made you fall for the talent after you watched it. Fifth. Fifth. Yes, after watching this performance, everybody got to love her more. The idea was so great. Yuna. Oh. did not expect to rank top five at all. It was still really like touching, emotional, yeah. Aww. Fourth, you believe like you know her now, but she keeps on showing us a different side of her. Lexi? Wow, okay. Not finishing with ballet, but doing pop was so smart. This is for your intelligence and your skill. Thank you. I don't, I mean, I guess I wasn't expecting that one. Okay. Number three. The weird, mysterious balance between her complacency and her drive and desperation. 
Savannah. <laughs> I didn't rank top three in anything else. So I was really happy that I ranked top three. And I feel like it was hard earned for me because I don't know, I thought I put on a good performance. So, you know, really, <laughs> it's like, it's nice. It feels nice. Okay. So I didn't happy. see that one coming, to be honest with you. Melissa is one of them, and she should totally have one. Second best performance of the day. Kendall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. Yep. Mm-hmm. Not only because of your art, it was more the way you speak your thoughts, how eloquently you can speak. That was very impressive. And everybody said they got to love you more after you just did that performance. All right, congratulations. So I was very happy that I even ranked second and I wasn't expecting it at all. So yes, I'm very happy with it. Aww. Number one rank went to Melissa. When she finished this performance, everybody fell in love with her. It's either Melissa or Camilla, but it's got to, I feel like it has to be Melissa. Melissa? Uh-huh. Melissa? So many people would appreciate what you did today. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So proud of you. I wasn't expecting it. I thought, okay, if I could rank, I don't know where I would rank, but not first. I was not expecting that. I was so, so happy. Aww. <laughs> I still loved, I mean, all of them did fantastic, um, honestly. The next is character, huh? Okay, today I feel much more comfortable because you all performed amazingly. So I'll see you tomorrow. Great day. It's called the character evaluation. Are you really desperate to be the final member of this group? Result-wise, you're not at least overachieving your expectations, I guess. Past result is past. Doesn't really make me perform better. Wow. <laughs> I've never, like, I guess, let's see how many people are, 19,000, 20,000 people were watching this. Um, I don't know. I've never, like, I've never seen character happen before, so I'm curious to see um, what it's going to be like. I'm sorry, my light's behind me or blue right now, so <laughs> they're making me look blue. Um, mm, I don't know. I'm super... I guess intrigued by it because I've never, um, I've never like seen a character test from JYP done. Um, I know they also, I didn't know like he even did an interview with them. I thought it was almost based off of just like, uh, what he's seen, what team members have seen in the pieces of paper they write. So that's kind of cool to see that it's, like, he sits down and asks them some pretty hard questions. And I swear if he's hard on Gina, man. <laughs> I feel, I just feel for her. I I don't know. I don't know why I feel so bad for Gina. I, I don't know. I, it's just there, though. Um, wow. So, I think as far as the rankings go, Melissa and Kendall, those two is what I would have picked for first and second. Um, the other three, um, 
kind of shocking, to be honest with you. Like, they were they were all good. All their performances were good. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I couldn't have, like, thought through all the performances and been like, this is who I think would have been third, fourth, and fifth. I just knew the first two. I feel like there's, um, there probably could have been some close calls, you know what I mean? But, that being said, what would your rank have been? Do tell. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.